The title of today's blog post is Looking Past Today's Lesson. It's actually a very simple concept, but unfortunately, it's something that gets overlooked often when I observe people's classes. People often wonder if their lesson is good enough for a number of reasons. They might worry that the lesson was too difficult for the kids, or the kids didn't like it, it was exhausting, or they might wonder if it was too fun, if it was too fun and gamey, and wondering if the kids might start not taking their class seriously. These are good questions, but I find that often the real answer to the question does not lie within the lesson itself. It has to do with the question of where the lesson is coming from and where it is going to. You can make a mediocre lesson into an exquisite lesson simply by having prepared for it in a previous lesson and having it carry forward into something else. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this blog post. I'll give an example that's not in this blog post. I uh, once taught a lesson where the focus was language talking about daily routines in the third person. And I used a story from a very easy true stories called Mary Walks Home. I knew it was within these kids' proficiency range to accomplish this activity, to make it work. But it was like pulling teeth. They were really not engaging. By the end, however, I really felt like they had put some effort into understanding the story. And I was just about to move from understanding the story into some sort of speaking activity where the kids could talk about themselves and their own daily routines and then each other's daily routines, that kind of thing. But I ran out of time. Now, it was a one-shot deal. I was teaching someone else's class and having them observe me. Unfortunately, it was a teacher who had other issues with me and wasn't particularly interested in my advice. Uh, and so he just junked the whole Mary Walks Home idea and it went down in his books as a terrible lesson. And actually, it was a terrible lesson in the sense that there was no follow-up. It would have been an exquisite lesson if this teacher, who shall remain nameless, had decided not to junk the whole idea and to bring Mary Walks Home back in some other format, in some other context, and come at it in some other way, and ultimately include the language within Mary Walks Home uh, in some sort of assessment activity, some sort of scoring activity, for, so the kids could see this story within a larger context. One way of looking at this, and this is something I mentioned in the blog, is that as in Hollywood, every character has an arc. Each of us in our own miniseries of our lives has a narrative arc. We don't exist in one single episode. So to suggest that a kid gets everything he needs to get out of one lesson within the bounds of that lesson is to insult that larger narrative arc that instinctively a human being feels. So, is your lesson a good lesson or a bad lesson? Depends where it's coming from and depends where it's going to. Best of luck.